All right. Um, videos come in from uh, uh, Alexei Navalny's uh, funeral and uh, from the, the ceremony at the church uh, and then uh, the ceremony at the burial site at the graveyard, the cemetery. Uh, and it's quite stunning. Thousands and thousands of people came out, both, uh, and these are different people because there's a distance between the two, both at the church and at the cemetery. Uh, think about this. Uh, this is Moscow in February or, or uh, 1st of March. Uh, it, is, it is really cold. You can see how well-dressed they are, how, how uh, coats and everything. Um, it, it's cold. Uh, there, there's there's uh, snow on the ground. But more importantly, the, 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 both in both events, the security forces are out in force. Uh, they are taking pictures. They are documenting who is there. Anybody who comes there is, is, in a sense, risking getting on the wrong side of the Russian security forces. Uh, they were chanting Navalny, Navalny, Navalny. Uh, you know, they were clearly supportive of Navalny. And, and I think this, this show of support, in spite of the risk that these people are taking on by being there, is an illustration of why Putin had to kill him. Navalny, for whatever reason, and I don't know Navalny well enough, and I don't really understand the psychology of charisma particularly well, was incredibly charismatic and really brought out and, and became a symbol of the opposition against Putin and the opposition against the current regime in Russia. Uh, whatever his qualities as, a, as an individual human being, he became that symbol, and he really, uh, you know, rallied people around him. Now, I don't think he was a real threat to Putin. But who knows over the long run, who knows if something bad happens, what what could result? I think the Russian people uh, are basically sheep and, and, and have accepted Putin and accept pretty much anything Putin does. But, uh, but Navalny, uh, you know, stood something in them that uh, scared Putin. And therefore, Putin had to get rid of Navalny and, and did, and did. And, and uh, there was some talk about maybe there was going to be a prison exchange where Navalny was going to be released together with the Wall Street Journal journalist in exchange for this guy in Western Europe uh, who, was a, who, who was sentenced to life for murder. Uh, but uh, I don't think Putin wanted Navalny in the West either. Putin didn't want Navalny alive. I mean, he tried to poison him once, and, and he... he sent him to Siberia, and he killed him. And, and now he's dead. Uh, Tucker Carlson, by the way, is unconvinced. Uh, in his Lex Friedman, uh, in his Lex Friedman interview, he does what he always does. You know, this is a standard practices. I'm only asking questions. I'm only asking, you know, I, I don't know what the truth is, but I'm just asking questions. You know, you guys can accuse me for just asking questions, but is it possible? Maybe. Is there an incentive? Maybe for the Biden administration to actually kill Navalny. I'm not saying that happened. I don't know. Indeed, I have no evidence that that happened, but I'm just asking questions. That's what I do. I'm a journalist after all, so I ask questions. That is so dishonest. That is such a logical fallacy and, and, and a blatant attempt to, to, to manipulate people. Uh, it is, it is uh, the, the, the embracing of the arbitrary uh, it, it, all in the name. This is how conspiracy theories get going. Very few people start out with conspiracy saying, thing. no, this, yeah, they really do this. The aliens do come down. You say, yeah, well, it's possible. I, I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's true. I don't know. Yeah, one of my, I think one of my goals in life now is to do as much as I can in the little world in which I live, which is pretty small. To, uh, to, to point out how disgusting, awful, horrible, uh, and a, what is it, uh, Adam calls him, a weasel, Tucker Carlson, actually is. I mean, I, I wasn't very successful in convincing people that uh, uh, Trump was, all of those things, you know, and, and I probably won't be su too successful with Tucker Carlson. After all, his interviews garner millions of views. But what the hell, it's, it's uh, probably therapeutic for me to try anyway. <laughs> Uh, to know that I am at least in the sight of justice and truth.